Programming the setup wizard. Turn on the main power to the unit. The first time the unit is powered on from the factory, a setup wizard will appear. The setup wizard will walk the installer through the most commonly required parameters. The functions of the arrow buttons will be displayed on the screen during the setup wizard. To adjust the value of a parameter, use the up and down arrow buttons. To move to the next parameter, or to finish the setup wizard on the last parameter, use the right arrow button. To save changes and exit the setup wizard, press the left arrow button. This will bypass any remaining parameters in the setup wizard. To exit the setup wizard without saving changes, you must cycle power to the unit before exiting the menu. The first parameter visible is time and date. The control uses an internal clock for the logging of faults. For this feature to work correctly, the time and date must be set when the unit is first installed or when the unit has been powered off for more than four hours. Use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the hour and press the right arrow button to select minutes. Repeat this process until the correct time and date have been entered. The second parameter visible is Space Heat Set Point Coldest Day. Space Heat Set Point Coldest Day sets the water temperature set point that will be used during a space heating demand. If an outdoor air sensor has been connected to the low voltage terminal board, this parameter will represent the water temperature on the reset curve corresponding to the outdoor coldest day parameter. The adjustment range for this parameter is 68 degrees Fahrenheit to the setting of the maximum space heat set point parameter. The third parameter visible is max space heating set point. Max space heating set point sets the maximum limit of what the user can adjust the space heat set point coldest day parameter to. It also serves as the limit for the space heat set point that can be generated by the outdoor reset curve if the outdoor temperature falls below the setting of the outdoor temperature coldest day parameter. The adjustment range for this parameter is 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. The fourth parameter visible is outdoor temperature coldest day. This parameter represents the outdoor temperature used in the heat load calculation for the cold day design. At this outdoor temperature, the set point in the space heat set point coldest day parameter will be achieved. The adjustment range for this parameter is negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The fifth parameter visible is warm weather shutdown. This parameter represents the outdoor temperature that the control will block all space heating demands. Once the outdoor temperature falls 10 degrees Fahrenheit below this set point, space heating operation will resume. The adjustment range for this parameter is 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The sixth parameter visible is auto reset high limit. When the outlet water temperature exceeds the setting of the auto reset high limit parameter, the unit will shut down and remain in lockout until the outlet water temperature falls 10 degrees Fahrenheit below this setting and a 60 second timer has expired. The adjustment range for this parameter is 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The auto reset high limit parameter should be lower than the setting of the manual reset high limit parameter to avoid nuisance lockouts. The seventh parameter visible is manual reset high limit. When the outlet temperature exceeds the setting of the manual reset high limit parameter, the unit will shut down and remain in lockout until the reset button on the display has been pressed. The adjustment range for this parameter is 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. The setting of this parameter should be set higher than the setting of the auto reset high limit parameter to avoid nuisance lockouts. The eighth parameter visible is domestic hot water set point. During a domestic hot water heating demand, 
This will be the set point temperature generated by the unit. Note that the required anti-scald mixing valve will likely require a setting greater than the desired domestic hot water temperature. The adjustment range for this parameter is 60 degrees Fahrenheit to the setting of the maximum domestic hot water set point parameter. The ninth parameter visible is space heat rate limiting. When the maximum space heating load is less than the maximum input of the unit, this setting will limit the firing rate of the unit during a space heating demand only. This feature can minimize short cycling of the unit during a space heating demand since it will most likely be smaller than that of the domestic hot water load. The adjustment range for this parameter is 10% to 100%. The tenth parameter visible is combi preheat. This feature can improve the domestic hot water performance of the unit by maintaining the boiler water temperature at an elevated level to be able to immediately serve a domestic hot water demand by keeping the heat exchanger hot. The adjustable range for this parameter is enabled or disabled. Note, enabling this feature can increase fuel usage as the unit will periodically fire to maintain the heated water in the boiler, keeping the secondary heat exchanger hot for immediate use. Once the last parameter has been programmed, press the right arrow button to save the parameter and finish the setup wizard. If you make a mistake or wish to revisit this type of setup, the wizard can be accessed at any time through the installer menu parameters. For more information on the installer menu parameters, refer to the video, How to Adjust Installer Level Menu Parameters. After programming the control with the desired operational parameters, the unit will now be ready to accept a heat demand.